Leftcast.com presents. This is, uh, it is Saturday, February 18th. This show is brought to you by Leftcast.com. Yeah, Leftcast.com. We are at Mickey's Tavern, 129 South State Road. My contract makes me say that. Um, in Upper Darby, and it's 19082. Yeah, I don't even live here. That's right. We got a lot of funny people coming out. We're going to be performing for you. Um, we got Evan Mars. We have Ed A. Poe. We have Brandon Gain. We have Nick Cupsey. We have Lisa Yost. We have Rick Mararchi. And Eric Grassi. And I am your host, Nick Abate. Thank you guys very much for coming out. I'm sorry for being a little slow. I just smoked a lot of pot. So, <laughs> that's going to fuck up my timing. Yeah, that didn't even work. This guy's like, get the fucking guy off the stage. I, uh, I went to Dunkin' Donuts today and uh, to get a bagel. And I walk up to the front, and I got my head down because I'm hungover. But um, I walk up to the front, and uh, I order a bagel, toasted, and a medium coffee. And I look up, and there's a white person there. I'm like, holy shit! The fuck? They have white people behind the counter at Dunkin' Donuts. I wonder if they make fun of them. I wonder if they like give them shit, because if you're like working with two white guys and you're really black guy, you always like make like a black joke. Yeah, at least I do, I can be honest. You know what I mean? You make jokes about them, like, do you think like the, <laughs> the Pakistanis give this white girl flack? You know what I mean? Like she's sitting there trying to do something, like, hey whitey, I bet you don't even know how to do long division in your head. <laughs> you know? They're like, hey whitey, don't get too close to toaster, you might get sunburn. <laughs> that was a good one. Get ready for your shift at BP, okay? Stop making jokes about the white girl. <laughs> uh, I told you I was high. Um. <laughs> Keep it going for Nick Abate, everybody. That high motherfucker. Nick Abate. How we doing tonight? How we doing tonight? Yes. Nice. Knock, knock. Yeah. Not Whitney Houston. That's the kind of night it's going to be. <laughs> What's chocolate and in a box just in time for Valentine's Day? <laughs> Hang out with the wrong crowd when I was younger. One Easter weekend, we made a Coke run. And on the way back, we decided to stop and get some McDonald's, which is not the brightest thing to do when you have an eight ball in your back seat. I'm sure some of you know from experience. <laughs> and as I pull up to the drive-thru and I order a cheeseburger, I'll never forget what my buddy says. He goes, Hey man, you can't eat meat. It's Good Friday. Uh, I did have a girlfriend who killed herself, though. It was... It was hard. It was, I mean, it was kind of over me, but it wasn't really over me. And like, like it was like, a, like I left a gaping hole. Like, you know, like I had a hole, but she had a hole because she shot herself. But I had a hole because in my stomach because she made these fucking omelets that were amazing and she died before she gave me a recipe and I tried to ask her mom at the funeral and she was crying so obviously she was upset over the omelets too because I, I, it, it really broke me up I didn't know what to make of it man it was, it was uh, it's a sick world, I'll tell you what. Uh, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm making it out all right. Like, I went down to Atlantic City recently, and, like, I came to a realization in Atlantic City that, like, the normal people, like, the guy next to you in the polo shirt playing a fucking slot machine, he's the normal, he's not the normal guy. He's not the guy you want to talk to. He's the fucking guy who's going to stab you and take your wallet in the parking lot. But that dude who's, like, sitting on the boardwalk with no legs, you know, playing can't touch this on a bucket. Like, that's the most normal motherfucker on the boardwalk, dude. He's the guy you want to sit down and have a chat with. I mean, but I can tell you there's one thing I did discover. I went to the Olive Garden the other night, I looked in their kitchen, and I discovered they should change their slogan from when you're here, your family, to Olive Garden, the best Italian food that Mexicans can make. You know 2 million people like Olive Garden on Facebook? Which means that 2 million people openly admit that they have horrible taste. So my fiance digs candles, especially from Yankee. So the other day she walks in and she says, 
Hey, honey, doesn't this candle smell like, you know, when you were growing up, like just like home? I said, home? That's not candle smells like daddy's liquor breath after he just called me a little girl. Then no, doesn't smell like home. Several poor. I have no clue what like ocean breeze smells like or sand dune or fucking pile of money. So I created my own line of candles aimed at the lower end of the socioeconomic spectrum and I call them cranky candles. Because let's face it, if you're poor, you're pretty fucking cranky. And like I said, <laughs> poor folk don't know what lilac smells like, but they sure as shit know what unpaid bills, septibus, and urinal cake do. <laughs> cranky candles available at Kmart, Aldi, or wherever poor folks spend their food stamps. I uh, was at a restaurant earlier today, and my waitress was really exotic looking. She had dark hair, caramel skin, and she had a name I couldn't pronounce. So I said to her, I said, hey, I hope you don't mind me asking. You're super pretty, but I couldn't tell by your name what ethnicity you were. Where does your name come from? And she's like, nowhere. My mom just made up a name and gave it to me. And I was like, oh, you're black. <laughs> and then I ordered 40 hot dogs, and she said, oh, you're Asian. <laughs> I feel like whenever a guy likes me and he's pursuing me, the whole process reminds me of medieval knight storming a castle. From the outside, my castle's decent. It's a little bit Asian, it's all exotic and shit. And all these men are like, okay, it's gonna take a lot to storm this castle, let's go. And with one quick motion, which is just dinner at Applebee's, they're in, they're in. Then they're looking around my castle and they're like, this castle has obviously been stormed before. by the black knights. <laughs> then there's like a fat knight walking around eating a drumstick and he's like, I don't know why you guys came in through the front because I just came in through the back. <laughs> I don't know if you guys might recognize me. Uh, my career's definitely been blowing up lately. I've been doing a little modeling. Yes, yes. Does this look familiar at all? No, actually, it, it wasn't uh, fashion modeling. I was in uh, Muscle and Fitness last month. Maybe you saw me as before. That was me. What I'm trying to say is Sandusky is just an awful story. The man should never be allowed to coach children again. What I think he should do instead is coach the Eagles. Here's the idea. They need a little motivation. You drop a pass, you got to shower with the coach. Fumble the ball, you got to wash the wiener. Thing is, if it's a first offense, you get to use a shower puff. An unnecessary celebration penalty. No reason for that. Major, major problem. If you give the team a black eye, take one in the brown eye. <laughs> Do you guys like that Beno Sax? Can I get a round of applause for Beno Sax? Thank you. I don't like that anal sex. I like well, I do like that anal sex, but I like that anal sex like four times a year during like the solstices. Um, but anal sex. So I don't. I like that anal sex, but I like to have it sporadically. So um, I have a thing that I do. Can you come here for a second? Can you? Can you come here? Come here. Yeah. Come on. Audience participation. So I have a move. I call it the chocolate harpy. Turn around. <laughs> So, when you run out of no sex with a girl, bend over a little bit. Right? You have a nice butt, too. But uh, what I do is I take my thumb, I call it the chocolate heartbeat, and I, I just take it like this, and then I put it on the girl's ass, and I just kind of go like, boom, boom, like that. It's like a tested emergency broadcasting system. It's like, um, yeah. I am good, thank you. This is just a test. There will be a time when I'm completely bored with your vagina in the future and I will be back. 
Do you like doing it back there? No. Either do I, really. It's weird, right? It's tight. Do you want to hear a joke about... Do you guys have babies? Do you have babies? Do you have babies? I got babies. Babies make me sick. It makes me sick that people still have babies. I think it's just the kind of people that are having babies. Like, uh, I have a friend, he's a lawyer, and he can't get his wife pregnant. Like, he has, like, a bag, like an IV bag filled with cum next to her. <laughs> yeah, and she won't get pregnant. But if you fuck one girl on food stamps, she'll be at your door the next day and be like, I'm pregnant. I'm like, you just jerked me off. What did you say? Would you save it? <laughs> I have one rule for having children. If you buy your kids shit at Baby Gap, have as many kids as you like. If you have shit on layaway, it's time to buy condoms. <laughs> you got shit on layaway. Yeah, you do. Four month bill. <laughs> I met a girl, she said she's so hot, she said she would the fuck me in the ass. Like, what would you do if you went, like this guy, what would you do? I'm looking at you, man, with your hand on the thing. You. Yeah, if you met a gorgeous girl, she said she would the fuck you in the ass, what would you do? Take it. What would you do? I tell you do. It hurts. <laughs> that was, that's a joke. I'd like to have everybody bow their head in remembrance of Whitney Houston and then raise your glasses because bitch got one week sober. That's, that's a step. <laughs> Back in that. Yeah. Real, man. Like, I just fuck Whitney. I fuck with Bobby Brown too. Bobby Brown destroyed black people faster than Katrina. <laughs> well, man, I got the black guy to labor that joke. That's good. That's how I know I'm safe. Good. Everybody has, there's certain members of Italian families. There's the grandmother, who's like the real old greaseball lady, who pluralizes the wrong shit all the time. She won't watch the Eagle game. The Eagle, the Eagle gonna play the cowboy. One fucking Eagle grandma. One cowboy. I'm pretty sure there's more than that. No, and then you got my mom. My mom's awesome. My mom's sitting there. She's like, I don't understand the music today. The music today is horrible. You can't understand the words. It's all this rap music, all this heavy metal. My mom's favorite song is Benny and the Jets from Elton John. Clap if you know the song, because it'll make the joke a whole lot fucking better. This is a sing-along, bitch. Who the fuck knows the verses to Benny and the Jets? No one! Everybody's like, hey, kid, somebody say with food. Italian people are the only people we take pictures of food. Like my dad will come out and fucking mashed potatoes will come out. Cook, get the camera. Get the camera. He's fucking mashed potatoes. Look at this. He's like fucking beautiful. <laughs> fucking mashed potatoes. It's potatoes. You blend. You put it in the fucking oven. You cover it with cheese. Delicious. But they're not beautiful. But then, if you ever got in a fight with an old school Italian, they just repeat the same fucking thing at louder volumes. My dad would go, yeah, you know what? Guess who I just saw last week? Remember I saw, remember I saw, guess who I saw? I saw Tommy. <laughs> Fuck's Tommy, dad. Tommy, you remember Tommy? Tommy. Not dad, I remember Tommy. Tommy! You know your fucking sister, we saw Tommy. Remember Tommy? We saw Tommy when you were little. Dad, I don't fucking remember Tommy. Tommy! Tommy, you were fucking eight the last time you don't see. What the fuck, you don't remember shit, Tommy? What are you, fucking retarded? Fucking Tommy! How do you not know Tommy? Cook, his fucking kid don't know Tommy. Tommy! Dad, I don't know fucking Tommy. Stop with the insult. Fucking Tommy! Hold on, he pulls out the fucking phone. He goes, remember the New York you Tommy? Tommy, I remember Tommy. Thank you all for a good night. Thank